Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops And it's gonna be a beautiful day, that's plain to see Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I'm going fishing with Bill Dance today. Big swirl come up. Big old fish, bigger. Fish right there. He ate it up too. Woo! A good fight. Look at that crawfish all the way down this big fat mouth. Yes, he did. Let me reach in here and see if I can. I finally got it. Hallelujah. Nice little fish. All right, buddy. Thank you. Had a fellow ask me not long ago, what is it about some fishermen who seem to catch more fish than others? Well, there are key reasons that come to mind. One is because they know the lake. Two, they know seasonal patterns on that lake. Three, they know the behavioral patterns of their fish. Fourth, they're very versatile anglers. Fifth, they have the confidence in their ability and equipment that they use. And six, they are very persistent. Successful fishermen who continue to catch fish, even when conditions are tough, will tell you that the key to their success is their ability to find underwater structure. They'll also tell you that for every few fish they catch after the spawn along the shoreline, they'll catch many more holding off some form of underwater structure. Sometimes it's shallow, other times it's deep. Now any good structure fisherman is going to tell you that a graft is a valuable aid in finding good fish holding structure. And perhaps the greatest aid to the graft operator is a small, colorful plastic buoy marker designed to visibly identify the area where structure is located. It serves basically as a good reference point, even though you've got the spot saved on your graph. Had to throw at that tree, just out of habit, I love a cypress tree. There's a lot of little crawfish out on top of these grass beds. And this grass bed comes out off the bank all anywhere from 10, 20, 30 feet, and then it just drops off. This little bait runs with six pound test line. On a long cast, it'll run about, that, that length cast, just a moderate type retrieve, it'll run about five feet deep. And that grass comes out four or five to about five to six feet and then it just drops off. And what I'm trying to do is parallel the edge of that grass line drop. And those little crawfish are just laying on top of that grass. I don't know what they're feeding on, but I know what the bass are feeding on. They're feeding on those crawfish. Bill Dance Outdoors is sponsored in part by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Rebel, catch fish anywhere. 
and by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by the Tennessee Department of Tourist Development. Come experience the kind of beauty that can only be made in Tennessee. Go online today for your free Tennessee vacation guide. right there. There's a fish too. Get you. Come back here, got this little hole that I can get into. Pick you up like that. A little pretty little fish. Okay, then, man. You know, a while ago we were talking about graphs. Speaking of graphs, these little things are just unbelievable. They do a great job in helping an angler pinpoint high percentage structure, such as drop-offs, ledges, cover, ridges, uh, high spots, secondary banks, plus other forms of structure that fish seek and use. I absolutely uh, couldn't do without one. There's just no question about it. And with all the things they'll do now, mm. we've got side view, bottom view, and this new pan optics that the good folks at Garmin have come with, to be able to scan out and see fish moving, how far they are from you, and to be able to even cast to them and catch those fish that you see. Oh yeah, look here. Crazy. There goes on the trolling motor and the trolling motor. Yep, that's just what he wanted to do. And out of the trolling motor. And do a little two and a half for us. A little spunky. Chase is all just jammed up with the wheat crawl. They like this bait. i tell you something. If you fish this bait, you want to use medium action rod. A rod with a, a lot of tip right here. You don't want to use a stiff rod. You want to use light line. Four to six pound test. Two stiff rods, you're not going to be able to cast it. And work it right. Too heavy a line, you're not gonna get any distance, you're not gonna get any depth with the bait. Pretty little old fish. You want a medium, a medium light. See that rod tip? See it? You want something to be able to load the bait and get the bait out. Today we're fishing with one of the most original, realistic crawfish crankbaits. They produce a pulsating action that bass find mighty hard to resist. Now what makes this bait so doggone good is the fact that you can fish it almost anywhere. Ponds, creeks, rivers, lakes. You can fish it summer, fall, winter, spring. Another nice touch 
It comes in six sizes and up to 20 colors to choose from. I'll tell you now, it's one really fine crankbait. Today's show is sponsored in part by Quantum Rods and Reels, Outsmart, Outfish, Outlast, Mystic Lubricants, Lubrication Domination, and Tracker Boats, Fish the Finest. Today's equipment log is brought to you in part by Gamakatsu, because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. Today's show is sponsored in part by Stren, the standard of dependability since 1958. Fish defunct, kill the stink, and Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. There he is, another big one. Open up your mouth. There we go. Got you. That's a nice one. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Fine. Not a bad one. Okay. Toot loop. Wow, that's fun on this light tackle. Okay, you know, there's something I ought to point out, but I think everybody knows it. Regardless of how much a successful fisherman is, no matter how much he knows, no matter how versatile he is, he's not gonna catch fish every time he goes. And if he's honest, he'll tell you that. You know, I will say that the more experienced you are, the better your odds. But let's face it, there's just going to be days, no matter what you do, you're just not going to catch them, even when other fishermen do. There we go. Oh, that's a heavy fish. When I think back of one of the greatest football coaches of our area, uh, many of you will remember him, especially the older folks. Uh, he coached the Green Bay Packers, and his name was Vince Lombardi. Possibly you remember him. He was one of the best. But he always told his players that uh, winning was achieved through determination. And he pounded that in his players. 
Winning is achieved through determination. And you know, I for one certainly believe that. And when it comes to fishing, I do my dead level best to try to practice that every time I go. But as we all know, no matter how determined we are, we're not always gonna be winners. Especially when you compete against mother nature and her creatures. Some days you win, but most days they win. And when you really think about it, that's the way the good Lord intended it to be. But like I said, the more you know, and the more you go, the better you'll become. Every failure simply brings you closer to success. The Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week is brought to you by Mystic Lubricants and their complete line of JT4 Marine products. A full line of products for your full line of pursuits. Visit mysticlube.com today. Now here's a question you'll never ask if you use Defunk. What's that smell? The Defunk family of wipes and sprays kills odors and kills them big time. Cleaning an onion, fish, a cooler, live well, or even your dog and it's environmentally friendly. Defunk eliminates those horrible odors completely. It also removes human scents and enhances your chance of catching more fish. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And Motor Guide, trolling motors engineered for anglers. Closed captioning is provided by Bill Dance Digital. Follow us. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, chart plotter sonar combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive Panoptics all-seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. I found this bow-mounted trolling motor like the one we're using today to be perfect. I really like a quiet approach, which often helps me catch more fish, especially in depths of 15 feet or shallower. There, I really rely heavily on this easy to steer motor with a bow mounted transducer on it because I can see the edges of the grass line drops and how the fish are relating to the area that I'm fishing on my bow mounted graph. If you're looking for the latest fishing information and tips, be sure to check out the free Bill Dance mobile app available for both iOS and Android users. Okay, Chubb, I'm not going to be stupid late in the day, fill my fingers up with those little, tiny, nice little fish. There are other keys to becoming a successful angler. It pays us to pay close and careful attention to what's going on around you while fishing. This will definitely help make you a much better angler. Your degree of alertness and power of observation and confidence you have at the moment can and does make a big difference. Your concentration on what's taking place around you can tip the scales towards success. You know, when I look back at the really successful bass fishermen that I've met, they all possess an uncanny ability to be able to recall the circumstances surrounding the catching of fish after fish. They know the location, the water depth, the water clarity, the temperature, the type of lure size and color, the presentation, wind direction, weather, and a host of variables. It's amazing. They store all this away 
They have total recall of these facts even years later. Nothing they do is haphazard. Each piece of the fishing puzzle fits into place in their mind. And when you train yourself to concentrate as thoroughly as they do, well, you're on your way to becoming a successful fisherman. Hey, I realize that there's a lot of things to think about, but believe me, in time, with more experience on the water, even a beginning angler will learn a little each time he goes. He'll get better and better. Whoa. That's a spunky one. He's a pretty fair fish. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Look at big one. I see all those bright shiny hooks looking at me. And I know what I'm going to do. I had too many of them stuck in my fingers. You are caught, sweetie. You are caught, pretty baby. Nice little fish on that light tackle. Hello and goodbye. Well, it's about time to wrap it up, but in closing, I'll tell you what, I want to say that successful fishermen, they work and they study hard to be consistent. But even then, they're never 100% successful, regardless of how much they know. But you can bet those that have lots of experience, knowledge, and persistence and confidence will fish much more carefully, more thoroughly, more efficiently, more comfortably, therefore, more successfully. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Join us here again next week. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.